Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is from the World Whiskey Society. This is their Wyatt Earp American Single Malt Whiskey, coming in at a 48% ABV. Now, for full disclosure, this sample was sent over for us to take a look at and a review, so just keeping that transparency open. When it comes to the World Whiskey Society, they're basically known for going around to select parts of the United States and overseas, finding those specific barrels that they want to take, bringing them back, a lot of times keeping them cash strength, single barrel, doing unique finishing on things as well, and just releasing some really solid sourced whiskey. This is their first 100% single malt whiskey from here in the United States. And I'm really excited about it because I love a good American single malt. Uh, but they are starting to become a bigger player here in the United States because we are just clamoring for something different. And to be honest, when they're done right, they're done really darn good. So being that this is Wyatt Earp, this is kind of named after the American uh, gunslinger and he has a pretty colorful past to him as well. And a lot of their releases all have to do something with uh, the American side of the Wild West, which is really fun. And, you know, got to give credit to kind of bringing up some history with it as well. So with all that, let's go ahead and jump into the bottle itself and see how things go. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hang around for a bit, become a member if you'd like. If you're interested in some other reviews that I've done over the World Whiskey Society, those will be linked up above and down below, along with a link to their website. So you go check them out for yourself, place an order, or just find them in your area because they are getting a very large distribution area now. Beautiful dark color. It's not your typical American single malt. We're used to seeing that being a very light color. It's gorgeous. Alrighty, let's go for notes. Ooh, yeah, definitely. You get a lot of barley up front on this. You get a lot of buttery kind of bready notes going on here, kind of yeasty like, but you get a gorgeous under layer of the oakiness, the charry layers from the cask. Definitely get a lot of citrus on the nose. I would say kind of like a lemon zest, like a freshly grated lemon peel. Little bit of a milk chocolate going on, which you can definitely find a lot of times in your American single malts. No ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes. A very good solid nose on here for an American single malt, uh, especially because there is no official age statement on this one. I looked around on the website and couldn't find anything but it's got some great character. I'm going to assume by that color, they're using new American oak on this because that is some dark color on there for our used oak. But it's got some great chocolatey notes, a little bread yeastiness in there, um, a nice vanilla soft sweet characteristic starting to show up for me, like a vanilla drizzle. Yeah, like some vanilla cream kind of drizzled over the top of like a sweet bread. Yeah, I like that. Let's go for a taste. That plays really well on the palate. Right away, you're greeted with that barley note. So it's got this kind of grain forward barley spark going on. And then it rolls into some of the more heavier characteristics. A little oaky, charry, vanilla cream sweetness. Uh, a little bit of caramel drizzle going on too. And some great warmth on the palate. It coats very well for its proof point. That malty characteristic is mixing with that chocolate, giving you that vibe of like a chocolate malt almost Whopper or like um, malted milk balls, I think they're called. Um, you're getting that kind of quality out of there. Yeah, that's really solid. There's a light bit of pepperiness in here. It's not heavy handed in that. Mm. Mixed in there with a definitely a, some more fruity characteristics are starting to show up. Getting a little bit of sweet apple, definitely getting some pear in here and a little bit of undertone of like a rich characteristic. And I'm trying to put my finger on that. It's teetering close to like a chocolate rich, almost like a ganache. And that barley is making me think that and I'm really digging that. I don't think I've had a single malt bring these kind of characteristics across on this level. Great fruity notes. The barley itself is showcased well in my opinion. And I love those chocolate notes showing up. Man, third sip here. I'm finding some herbalness going on. Not only like a bit of mint, like a sprig of mint, but uh, some sage and even maybe just a little bit of thyme in here. And that plays really well with those barley notes and it dances great. I am a fan of this. 
Mm, that is a darn good sip. Alrighty, let's talk about a grading scale for this bad boy. Um, so you can order this directly from their website. I'm not sure on their distribution if this one's gonna be going out to stores. It's like 60 bucks. And to be honest, at that price point, I gotta give it a solid B+. You have other big names out there doing American single malts, things like Bullet, releasing theirs for well over $60 in some markets. For that palette to bring across that kind of herbalness, plus the sweet characteristics of those chocolate notes that I'm picking up, I think it's a winner in my book. 100%, I kind of want to buy a bottle of this just so we can do an A-B comparison between this and the Bullet to really see who's going to shine out on top. But I definitely give this one a thumbs up. Grab it if you can. If you're interested in American single malts, that is a fun one to have a sip of. And again, if you're interested in learning more about the World Whiskey Society, a link to their website will be down in the description area below. Go show them some love. So yeah, there you have it, folks. The World Whiskey Society, Wyatt Earp American Single Malt Whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one. You know, and I even like it might not.